cards. I showed them to you. This is part one. <laughs> Look at those Anpan Mans. <clears throat> I love this. <laughs> I didn't put down anything in the um, bubbles, you know, you can imagine what they're saying. We fill out the bubbles in the reading. I love this one here. <laughs> this is so cool. So, you can choose one Anpan Man you want to be, like not one Anpan Man, one superpower. Um, cute little card. <laughs> And um, we're doing a reading on what superpower you need in the next um, couple of weeks, you know. What superpower is needed for you to maybe overcome obstacles or to overcome um, a fight or whatever is going on in your life. I don't know what's going on. We will look um, what superpowers you need to overcome this, Okay. So choose one of the pies, choose one of our cute little <laughs> superpower versions and then we're gonna start the reading, you know? So, <laughs> this is by one. <laughs> I have to show this again. Don't mind my nails, you know? It's locked down in Germany. We still have to wait another month <laughs> till I can go to the nail saloon again. Part four. Okay, guys, so please sign up for my channel if you're here for the first time and please like the video and yeah, see you at the parts, guys. Timestamps are as always in the description box. Bye, hey guys. Welcome to your reading. <clears throat> Look at this dog. <laughs> I really love this dog. <laughs> he looks like NASA. He looks like he's flying to space. Look at <laughs> Space dog. Oh, there's even Saturn. With a star on it. That reminds me of ARMY. <laughs> that's so cool. So that's like the flying dog. So you, cho Ooh, you chose the flying dog. So let's see what superpower you need in the next upcoming weeks. Please show me universe. Pile 1. What superpower do they need in the next upcoming weeks? What superpower do they need in the next upcoming weeks? I also want to take one card from these cards. What superpowers does part one need in the next upcoming? Oh, oh, we have spirituality. This came out too, so I'm, I'm taking it too. Okay, so first we're going to turn it around and then we're going to see if we need more information, you know. So, what superpower? Wow. So we see here, seek out a mentor or guide, take baby steps as you grow, be willing to learn from others. What superpower you need in the next upcoming weeks is the power to accept growth, the power to be a student, you know, the power to um, <clears throat> accept teaching because there's growth coming into your life, you know, there's growth coming. So you will get a lot of spiritual power, I see here. A lot of power coming your way. Let's seek out a mentor or guide. The superpower of growth. <laughs> so let's see. And we have I have seen spirituality. So there will be, in the next upcoming weeks for you guys, there will be a lot of spiritual power. Okay, and an ending. There is a karmic completion, okay? A karmic completion means there is something ending in your life that is made of karma yeah that means that that is karma coming um doesn't mean that there's something bad coming it's just that it is fate that you have to complete this lesson and that's why it came out because there will be this new period of growth and especially growth of spirituality okay what i'm seeing here so what superpower you need in the next upcoming weeks is the superpower to end this cycle is the superpower to be willing to grow. The superpower of flying. I mean, we see it even here, you know. <laughs> and the superpower of flying, you know, flying high in the growth. What happens, you know, why do they need the superpower? Let's see why you need the superpower. Two cards popped around. 
yeah look at this you're cutting out something that makes you emotional um sad you're cutting out and i think this is the karmic completion there will be some sort of ending in the next week you know some sort of ending that you cut out you know you fought for yourself basically is that what that card means even if the page you know the page is is a page it's not a queen it's not a king so the page is still learning the page is in a progress also it could be the page is a child you know so maybe um you end something with a parent or with maybe some kind of quarrel or um maybe you yeah there is a fight between you and um a parent going on right now and you're like completing this you know you're you're defending yourself basically it means and um this is uh, being sad about this you know being disappointed and um what i'm feeling here is what you what you will be ending what you will be cutting out will be something where you will be disappointed about it's nothing where you will fly high you know it's you will be disappointed so whatever you're cutting out because i see here cutting out I see you cutting out. I see you being very emotional, um, especially with words, you know. Um, it will make you really sad, this ending. I put this down because this is here. This is this ending. There is something that is completed. And after that, you will grow enormously. So I see that this has to be ended. Something has to be ended here. Something is going, leaving. Um... And after that, you will experience an immense spiritual growth. And I think that's why it is needed to end this. Whatever this is, what you're ending, it is needed for you to have this spiritual growth. <clears throat> and I think that's what superpower you need is the superpower of being able to end this, being able to um, stand up for yourself and the superpower of finishing something and starting new you know having the superpower of really walking away from something and being able to experience this growth so how what can help you in this situation what can help you to reach the superpower we have learned something new archangel metatron okay so you have Archangel Metatron watching out for you. I'm very interested what this Archangel is doing. Where's the box? I have to read what this Archangel is doing. Guys, I have to read this. It looks very powerful. You know, with the lion here, it's about standing up for yourself. I really feel standing up for yourself and, um, you know, preparing you for learning something new you know it's it's basically it's saying what can help you is um the knowing the knowledge of you learning something new of you having to end this and being able to fly you know it's like this uh, dog is saying i have the superpower to end something that only makes me disappointed in life you know to end something that was meant to end and to fly into higher spiritual realms. <laughs> That's what this doggy is saying. I mean, he's even flying. But I want to watch for this um, Archangel Metatron. Let me check what this means. So guys, let's see. <clears throat> Archangel Metatron. <clears throat> Archangel Metatron, the first angel of the tree of life of in the Kabbalah, helps those who are new up on the spiritual path. He oversees indigos and ensures that their spiritual gifts stay open and active. Like all the Archangels, Metatron is unlimited and is able to be with everyone who calls upon him. This card asks you to work with Archangel Metatron in your daily life to welcome messages and signs confirming to you that you are perfect no matter what. And you see this, you know? 
This powerful messenger of heaven can help bring you peace in situations you, f you feel are very unfair or imbalanced. Every time you call upon Metatron, this archangel will immediately go to work, bringing you a calm understanding of the situation in your life. He will also help you let go of resentment and unforgiveness so you can move on and not allow lower energy to affect your life. That's exactly what it is, you know. <clears throat> I let go. I have the superpower of letting go of lower energies, you know. <coughs> lower energies and I take the flight, you know. Very beautiful, okay. So this is what I'm having for part one. Very, very beautiful. Bye. Hi, part two. You chose this beautiful. <laughs> it's so funny. It looks as if there are smileys. <clears throat> this hippo is smiling. It looks like a hippo, right? Is it called hippo? <laughs> I have no idea. So, let's see, guys. What superpowers you need for the upcoming weeks. Let's see what's coming in your life. Pile 2, please, universe. Pile 2, what superpowers they need. I also want to get one or two of those cards. Universe, what is the superpower? Let's get one more. Mm -hmm. So, first we want to get those cards and then we're going to see. We get more cards, you know. So, what superpower you need in the upcoming weeks? It says strength. It says this challenge will make you stronger. You will get through the other side. Look for the gifts in the situation. Okay, you need to... to um, have the super power of strength. Yeah? And I see this hippo being very happy. So <laughs> I think if you are in a very dark situation right now, if I see this super hippo, you know, um, he's saying, I have the super power, like if I put it down, I have the super power of happiness in every situation in my life. You know? I have the I have the <clears throat> superpower of strength, okay? So, what is going on? We have adventure. Oh my gosh, look at this. 55 and 56. How is that possible? This is about the heart chakra. Look how green this is. There is something changing in your heart chakra. And with this relationship change and adventure, um, I mean, we have 555, five, five. look at this. And 555 five, five leading to 6, leading up to 6, leading to balance. So I really feel that maybe, you know, an adventure, there's some kind of an adventure is where someone is going on to an adventure, you know. So you are leaving for an adventure, your person, your partner is leaving for an adventure. I really feel that someone is in this relationship here. You know, either you or your person, you're going into an adventure. And this could also be in a spiritual bond, you know, that you're going into the adventure of not knowing where you land, <laughs> not knowing what's going on. You know, you, you, you change, you know, there is a change where you just go into the new, you know, you're just starting something new. That's what I'm seeing here. A start, the adventure is the, um, you know, going on to, in, going on an adventure it's like leaving it's like leaving into the unknown that's what i'm feeling here i'm feeling leaving into the unknown and for that you need a lot of strength <clears throat> so i really feel when you are leaving into the unknown whatever this means you know if you're leaving a partner behind or if someone is leaving you behind or in a soul connection you just go and do something different there is a change here involved where you need to gather all your strength, but you will walk to permanence and harmony, guys. It's very beautiful. And this is starting in the next week. So can I see what this 
why <clears throat> this superpower of strength is needed. Okay. <clears throat> wow. Wow. <clears throat> okay, we have here <clears throat> the Eight of Pentacles. So if we're having the adventure here, this myth could mean that you're changing jobs, guys, you know, because this looks like you found something on the internet, something new. There's a pentacle on the internet. <clears throat> so I really feel wherever you're going, it could be because of work. It could be um, because of um, a new relationship. The eight of pentacle always signifies um, that <clears throat> maybe also, guys, it is um, meaning that right now your relationship is very unstable if you are in a relationship this could also be you know and everything <clears throat> you're changing into an adventure and you know those are all the possibilities that you can do and what i'm seeing here is that something you found online <clears throat> where you going on to an adventure you know it's as if you you found something look at even this color is the same with what's showing here so whatever you saw on the internet, it's like after that, you want to go on to the adventure. You want to change something. If this is a connection or relationship that you are in, um, <clears throat> you're up to ch change something. You are up to change something. You are, yeah, you found something that that's where you want to go and change. Eight of Pentacles means a workplace. Yes, it could be. It could also mean that you change into unstable times because you take on another job, you know. Or it could mean you do something different in your relationship. Or because of a soul connection, you're going somewhere else because of work, you know. And this is everything you wanted, you know. The Nine of Cups is happiness. So wherever you're going, you need this <clears throat> strength card, you know, because you have to work very thoroughly, you know, the Eight of Pentacles means also working on your happiness because the nine of cups is your wish fulfillment your happiness it's like um something will come up in the next weeks where you will do something and change something where you are moving towards your happiness and you leave something behind something that really stressed you out you know maybe something that you had to work on and it was not working like you worked and worked and worked and um nothing was really changing and you needed a lot of strength in your life you know or you need a lot of strength to make this happen you need a lot of money you needed to um you need you need to gather a lot of money in order for your wish fulfillment to happen in order to make this change happening you know <clears throat> so maybe something is coming up where you going into an adventure and before that in the next upcoming week you need the power of strength in order to ga gather some money. But in the end, look at this. The change that you're doing is towards your own happiness. You know, whatever you're doing, whatever you're leaving behind and you're going into this adventure, it will bring you to your wish fulfillment. So that's very beautiful. But <clears throat> you need to work really hard on this, you know, and that's why you need to gather some strength in the next weeks. Or also um, in order to do that, because it could also be that you are very busy, you know, you're very busy working. And for you to get up and leave in order to fulfill your wish, to go on this adventure in order to, because this is your wish fulfillment, it takes a lot of courage, takes a lot of strength, you know, to do this. So what can help you? What can help you gathering this? Okay, <clears throat> expressing love. So this can really help you to, to come into the strength, you know, the expression of love, um, the knowing that once you, um, once you walk this path, you know, you will find the expression of love, you know, it's the expression also of self-love, what I'm feeling here, you know, the happiness card. Um, <clears throat> you gather all the strength and you, you, you are in um you know it could also be that you are on an adventure you're going somewhere else maybe in order to work for someone and you you need to gather a lot of strength because this is for you an adventure 
<clears throat> maybe you're even going to the big city to work there. And <clears throat> maybe because of that also your relationship changes or your relationship to work changes. Um, the relationship change doesn't have to do with a relationship, but it is about opening your heart chakra, you know. Wherever you're going, you need a lot, a lot of perseverance and strength in the next weeks. And what helps you is um, sending you a lot of self-love, knowing that you are loved. And also that maybe people express love to you. But also knowing that where, you, where you're getting, you know, there will be a lot of love waiting, a lot of wish fulfillment. So just knowing that actually this adventure is an expression of love. Also, guys, you know, that going on to this adventure, knowing that this is an expression to love, to whomever. It could also be, guys, you know, let's say um, you're going on to an adventure because you found a job in the city and you have to leave someone behind. That's because relationship change, because you want to work there and you have want to fulfill your dreams. Um, you know, you have to leave them behind because you're going into this adventure. And this takes a lot of strength for you to leave this person behind, you know. But what helps you is knowing that it is also an expression of love if you're together with someone. But if you as a couple can make each other's dreams come true, you know. And <clears throat> you don't clinch towards each other that much that no one is able from the two to to express their wishes, you know? So you need to know if this is a relationship change because of a job and you are in a relationship or you are in a connection, that actually what you're doing is also an expression of love. It does not mean you leave this person behind. It means you're you're um you're getting a better job, you you get paid better, you know, you can do good things for your connection, for your relationship. So actually what you're doing, this adventure is an expression of love towards your person, you know? And this helps you to go on this adventure, you know? Very beautiful, part two. Okay, that's all what I'm having. Bye. Hi, part three. Look at this. This, lo this looks like Jungi. I don't know. <laughs> Look at this. What is this? This This looks like this looks like the virus, doesn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and this is like um, the mouse. It's like fear, overcoming fear. Maybe you overcoming fear... Um, fighting the virus i don't know <laughs> we'll have to see what superpower let's see what superpower you need in the upcoming weeks that's very cute i think you're overcoming some fears of yours <clears throat> what superpower is part three having What superpowers is part three needing in the next up over next weeks? Okay. We take two cards from these and then we're gonna look. <clears throat> Very interesting already. So let's see. I want to turn them around. Part three. Let's see. That's my oh look at the card colors are almost the same. It says awareness, um, live in the moment, be conscious of your thoughts, look for signs and guidance. I really feel that the universe shows you or being aware of what your um, fears are, because I really feel that this is maybe COVID, you know, and, and you're like, okay, I make it through, but I'm a little bit afraid and we all are, you know, we all are. But um, <clears throat> maybe there is some kind of fear that you're having that you're really becoming aware in the next week you know and the superpower is i you know i am empowered to overcome my fears that's what i'm seeing here with this mouse and also living in the moment you know maybe you are a person that worries a lot about the future or that thinks a lot about the past you know but it's about the present guys you know it's all about the present um only in the present we can be aware of what's going on we don't know nothing about the future and we cannot change the past you know so what everything what you can do is only in the here and now and this is what <clears throat> you need to be aware of you know this awareness will come in in the next um you know in the next couple of weeks and i feel this is about some kind of fears that get illuminated here you see how the light is coming in you know the fears get illuminated and you are saying okay you know what i can do now here and now is to work on these 
yeah, we have healing here. Um, let's see, this is about forgiveness. We see here the blue. You know, the blue is all about love, I feel here, also the blue. Forgiveness and healing. <clears throat> Very interesting. Being aware and healing and forgiving yourself for uh, having this fear, maybe. Or being in certain situations, you having reacted like this, you know. I really feel that we have the universe here, you know. The universe will shine light on a situation in your life. That's why awareness and forgiveness. There will come, <clears throat> some kind of awareness will come in in the next coming um, weeks. And you will need the superpower of forgiving the past. Yeah, there will be an awareness, there will be a situation highlighted to you. Where you were very fearful, you know, where maybe you could not express yourself and um, there will be healing, you know, there will be healing. We have a lot of six, maybe you see a lot of sixes, six, 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 <clears throat> and we have the universe here. And this is about, let's see, it's about the third eye. The third eye is about knowing, that's the color of the third eye. It's about knowledge. It's about something that is illuminated to you. You know, the third eye is about an awakening. It's about a knowing. So something will come to light in your life. <clears throat> and you need to, to have the superpower of forgiving. Forgiving this person, forgiving whatever. Because it's something that you are fearful. Okay? Something that you are fearful will come to light. And you need the power of healing the situation and forgiveness. Can I see why they need this? <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, that's too many cards. I'm just taking this one. I haven't seen them, so... Okay, <clears throat> yeah, this is faded. Whatever is coming in, you know, um, it's something that... Something that is like... Um, it goes round and round. It, it's not new in your life, okay? So maybe you already know what this is. This is a situation in your life you have not... Um, you have faced before, okay? That's why it's, you have this fear. There is a situation where you're very fearing. Maybe also fearing to show your true self. Fearing to speak up because we have blue. But I feel this blue is more about the third eye than knowing. So something will be shed to light in this circle that you're going. There is some kind of thing, come, some kind of topic in your life that comes over and over and over again. And something in this situation will be shed to light. This is independence. It's about you living alone in your garden. You have everything. You are very independent. You can do everything on your own. You're not dependent on, on anyone. There is some kind of light, some kind of message coming in from the universe. <clears throat> Maybe it's about the fear of you being independent, of you doing your own thing. Maybe you are always dependent on someone and you have a fear of um, being alone or living alone. Working alone, doing your own business, something like that. There is an ongoing topic in your life, something with independence, something with you being alone or standing on your own, <clears throat> standing up for yourself. And it comes up in your life over and over again. And there will be some kind of awareness, some kind of where you have to forgive yourself for acting like this or for you have to forgive someone else. And you need to heal the situation. <clears throat> Very interesting. Let's see what helps you in this. What helps you in this superpower of forgiveness? Make a wish. Time to create. <clears throat> okay, this is a manifestation that you wished for. You wished for a solution in this whatever this is because it was coming up in your life again and again okay this is a situation that's not new to you yeah whatever 
just being awareness whatever comes in and i see right now you're not seeing anything because you're wearing a mask you know you you're not aware of this this comes in in the next upcoming weeks and it was a wish of yours it's like the universe creates that situation this awareness they create that because it was a wish of yours so how can you get through this it was <clears throat> a wish of yours you prayed to the universe to solve this problem okay and the universe is saying okay we we give you some kind of awareness we lighten you up about the situation there's something coming in and you need the superpower of forgiveness something is happening here i think this is some kind of information that comes in well, there will be shed light on a situation and you wished for that light because you, you were not knowing why this maybe comes up in your life again and again. Maybe it's about being independent. Maybe you wished for knowing why you are single or why you should stay um, alone or why you, should open up, why you should open up a business or, you know, some kind of answer will come that was because you asked for it. And it's all because you need the power of forgiving someone or something or this situation that comes over and over, okay? Very interesting. Part three, please tell me what this is. This is very interesting. I never knew when I read it what it could be, you know, because this is a general reading. Um, even if I do personal readings, you know, I don't get information on you guys. If I do personal readings, I only know your birthday, a picture, and... Um, <clears throat> what your name is and that's it i don't know anything about your situation you know but still you can interpret it better yeah than if you have a general reading okay so that's all what i'm having bye hi pipes for <laughs> i had to laugh so bad when i saw the flash <laughs> and the bear this is crazy it just reminded me so much when I got these cards, I was laughing so hard because I didn't know the bear and the flash was there. I didn't see the cards when I bought them. <laughs> I really like this. Okay, pile four. I mean, with the flash here, something will be happening in your life. Out of nowhere, like boom, and then the bear is, you know. <laughs> boom, and the bear is coming. What superpower pile four needs in the upcoming week's universe? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> let's see what other what superpower pile four is needing in the upcoming weeks what superpower pile four wow the first time we have different colors the first time we have different colors so let's see i mean i said that something is coming out of nowhere and we have intuition. Okay, you sense that maybe. So listen to the whisper of your heart. Use divination tools to help you decide. That's what we're doing here. Trust your intuition no matter what. So I feel that you need the superpower of intuition. That you feel that this is for your own good. Whatever is happening, there's something coming. Like this, I see the flash as a tower moment, you know. The flash always symbolizes for me that something good is coming, but it could also be a tower moment. So I don't know, but there's something coming in your life out of nowhere. And you need to have the superpower of intuition. Very beautiful. Look at this. I really feel that with this unicorn, something very unique is coming into your life. Something you have not expected something that comes in the middle of the night i feel here and we have spiritual career here look at the beautiful colors we have the crown chakra <clears throat> the crown chakra and we have the change so maybe 785 is a spiritual number for you you know look at this there are different colors i like that because that never happened before before like in the three other readings the colors were very much alike so <clears throat> there's something coming out of nowhere um concerning a spiritual career so maybe you're starting maybe you are a reader like me or you have not started and there will be an opportunity you know there's some kind of change coming within spirituality if you don't have a spiritual career so 
maybe you know you become more spiritual you know <clears throat> i really feel this is something what's coming in it's like a sign and you have to need you need the superpower of intuition to see it i don't think this tower moment is something that um that is boom and you know something is there like boom and a car stands there you know <laughs> just making stupid examples but you know it's i don't think this is happening in 3d i think this is a spiritual change because it's a spiritual career this is a change um within your energy field in the heart chakra in the field of heart chakra yeah because here it's all green so this is about heart chakra um there is some kind of change out of intuition it happens like boom out of nowhere and you need the gift, you need the superpower of intuition to even see it, you know. I think this, this whole thing is very subtle. Even if it's a major thing, like boom, you know, it hits you. Maybe you're just sleeping and you're waking up and you're saying, oh my gosh, today I start working as a tarot reader. You know, something like that. And you have not, you don't even know where it is coming from. Or you're waking up and you're saying, oh my gosh, today I sign up for Purple's um, tarot reading course. You know, something like that, where you have no idea where the signs are coming from. And you need this gift of your intuition to see that even, you know. Why they need the, the gift of intuition. Oh my, oh my God. We just need the one that fell down. Look at this. Look at this. I told you, out of nowhere, something is shaking your world. And you might not even see it, you know, you might not even see it. You really have to, this, those are thoughts. The five of swords, it's, um, you're not even seeing it coming. You're really hesitating to see that tower moment because it's very subtle. I really feel it's very subtle. You need a lot of intuition to feel that. And why you need to feel the intuition to know that um, there is a change in your mindset. The five of swords is also, um, you know, for me, this, the five is the card of change and the thoughts is the swords, the mindset. There is a change in your mindset that's coming out of nowhere. Maybe you were afraid the whole time of, um, you know, doing something spiritual. Maybe you're a Reiki practice, practitioner or, you know, you do something spiritual. And <clears throat> we have the five here twice. It's something that's changing in your um, thoughts. This is coming out of nowhere and because you don't even realize this is a change in thoughts something is changing in a thought system here and you need to have a good intuition in order to sense it and if you don't sense it you know never mind because um <laughs> this is something with spirituality and intuition i feel here how can you um <clears throat> yeah how can you see this how can you, how, what did I ask? How can you, how can you feel better this intuition or how, how can you better f get out this intuition gift? Or why is it better to use this intuition gift? Okay, why is it better? It's better for health, okay, for balance and loving yourself. Healthy, a healthy loving yourself. So why is it better? Why is it better to use this gift of intuition? Because maybe this change in your thought system. Um, okay, it could be guys that you feel um, very disturbed. Because when a change, like an awakening is happening in the thoughts, in the brain. Let's say the thought system. Um, you often feel not loved. You often feel very sad. You have... Um, your energy is taken away. You know, when, when you have something um, like this happening, this is like an ascension, you know. When this is happening in the mind um, and spirit is bringing this in, in order maybe for you later to start a spiritual career or um, to become more spiritual, it really is affecting your health. And why do you need to um, use this gift of intuition so you know that this tower moment 
is not something with your body or your health because maybe you're feeling down all the time maybe you cough a lot and then you think it's COVID you know and you're like oh my gosh I'm having COVID you know and you just have to have your intuition that this is just a new you know an awakening or an um an ascension and your your body is really um your health is really um in this time not good and if you have a good superpower of intuition, you know, oh, okay, this is because um, of my spirituality. This is changing because of that. Oh, okay, so I don't need to worry. You know what I mean? You have to really sense this in order for you to understand, okay, why maybe your health is affected in this time. Yeah, because I really feel whatever is changing, it's coming out of nowhere. And it's really um, maybe you are even feeling down all the time, you know, it's like if you, when you have your period, you f you're not feeling good all the time when you have your period, most of us feel very bad when having periods, you know, so maybe you feel like this and you don't even know why, and if you have a superpower of intuition, you can sense, oh my gosh, okay, this is what's going on, but, but look how broad this bear is, <laughs> so actually this ascending, ascension is helping you to become more confident, you know, it's like leveling up. It's like the spirit saying, hey, okay, I just leveled up. <laughs> it's like he has the superpower of knowing he's leveling up. <laughs> this is so cute. I like that. Okay, guys, that's all what I'm having. Bye.